Since I cannot be there, I hope you will convey the contents of this letter to Judge Broadwater's beloved family, to his and my good friend, Senator Rockefeller, and to all those assembled for the dedication ceremony. Craig Broadwater was a wonderful friend, a model citizen and soldier, and an exemplary judge. On a personal note, it was always a pleasure to cross paths with Judge Broadwater, who was bright, funny, and unfailingly fair-minded. So I gave Chuck earlier and her family a copy of the bill that uh, the president signed. And as far as we could tell, it was a signature. <laughs> <laughs> and I, that makes me very happy. And we have 40 more copies if anybody wants them. If you knew Craig Broadwater, you knew you had a front row seat to the American dream. And really that's what we're celebrating here today, at least from my point of view, that's it. We celebrate the dream of a man born modestly. Craig was a West Virginian. He grew up in, in Payton City, went to uh, public schools in Tyler County, earned his undergraduate and law degrees from West Virginia University. And he was highly decorated throughout his career. They took him to Korea, Africa, and Iraq, <laughs> Craig was an advocate. I like that. To be a judge, you have to, you have to, everything has to be on the merit. But you can also be an advocate. You can be an advocate in your private life. Uh, and then I think the resounding theme today around um, Judge Broadwater will be a sense of fairness. And I think when future generations walk into this building, it's named for him and into this courtroom, that the one thing that they're going to want to know is that they're going to be able to have a fair evaluation of their case, of their life, of their future. And when they call it the Broadwater Courthouse, that's what they're going to be getting, is that sense of fairness that Judge Broadwater brought not only in his judicial duties, but also in his military duties uh, every single day, and certainly to his family and from that long upbringing that he had uh, here in the roots of West Virginia. Now this morning, 